What's going on people, I'm Marcus B Gaming, and here's a simple guide on how to get through the Lake of Shadows Grandmaster Strike. Thanks for clicking, and if this helps, like subs and watching the whole vid helps the channel a lot. Let's go. Here's what you need to know. The strike is a 1370 power. You need to be at least 1345 to start it up, and you'll need overload and unstoppable mods for champions. You mostly have to deal with solar shields, a few arc, and one void wizard. I try to keep the loadouts as simple as possible. If you have a warlock using middle tree solar for a well, a titan using top tree void for a bubble, and two or three of you using swords, this will make the boss fight so much easier. To max out damage for those swords, throw on a boss spec mod. And if you can, the Lucent Blade mod for extra damage on that sword when charged with light. With that, you'll need Shield Break Charge, Taking Charge, and Charged Up mods to get charged with light for breaking shields, picking up orbs, and you'll be able to hold an extra stack. If one person on the team uses the Withering Heat mod from the artifact, using the Solar ability will weaken a champ, and combined with the others using Particle Deconstruction with Fusion Rifles, this will help melt champs fast. You'll want to throw that grenade as soon as champs get stunned. So with that said, high discipline for the person running Withering Heat is needed. Everyone can use the Protective Light mod along with the Charge with Light mods I mentioned for damage resistance when your shield breaks. I ran a grenade launcher with blinding nades to blind all enemies except champs and the boss, a arc bow, the trinity ghoul is super dope for this, and the falling guillotine sword. I threw on Phoenix Protocol as my exotic armor to have as many wells as possible for the crew. And everyone should have decent resilience above 70 and sniper damage resistance and or solar damage resistance mods on their chest armor to help survive sniper shots and fire attacks from knights. These melt fast. This setup on one person allows the other two to run both champ mods with fusions and the particle deconstruction mod, along with a bow to throw on that damage. Feel free to change up or tweak the loadout to work best for you, but this setup works. Alright, so start it up and Tokyo Drift over to the first blight area. You'll have three taken phalanxes, two with arc shields here, one unstoppable champ in the blight, and a bunch of scions. Keep your distance and don't get hit by the axiom dart orbs from the phalanx. A blinding nade in the crowd makes this much easier. Stay near this doorway until you clear out the enemies outside the blight. Then focus the last phalanx and the champ. As of right now, if you don't break the blights, you won't spawn extra champs and enemies, and you will still be able to get a platinum rating if you kill everything. So don't pop the blights until you clear enemies around the third blight. Around the corner of the street to the right are two unstoppables just waiting by the second blight. Keep as much distance as you can and focus the champs together. Don't forget to use that withering heat. Then skip this blight and make your way to the third one, which has two more unstoppables in the shield phalanx. Again, keep a lot of distance and attack together. When they're out, now destroy the third, second, then first blight at the beginning in that order. You'll make your way back up the hill after that, but take cover cause now there's two overload snipers and one taken fracturer with an arc shield. Take out the fracturer first because he hits hard and throws out axiom darts. Then melt those overloads. A tip with them is, when you see the purple light from their snipers, get behind cover ASAP. Now move into the building. In the reservoir there's scions on each level, and on the lower levels there's taking captains with solar shields. Do not get hit by those bubbles. Keep high ground and blind them with the grenade launcher to get through easier. When you get to this hallway leading outside, there's two unstoppables waiting at the opening. Bait them into the hallway, but keep your distance, cause their attacks go through walls. Trust me. After them are scions everywhere, two phalanxes at the beginning, an overload champ you could take out from a distance, and more snipers, an unstoppable, two more overload champs, and the taken knight with a solar shield towards the end. When you get to the two champs together, a well and someone stunning the overload while the other two work on the unstoppable is a good move. Don't forget withering heat. Take out all snipers from range and blind the knight because his fire is so damn deadly. In the next area is scions, goblins and an unstoppable by the door. And on the steps are an overload and another fire spitting knight. Bait the unstoppable into the tunnel and kill it away from the goblins that give it shields. 
then focus the knight in overload. After, at the top is another knight with goblins and again, blinding nades make dealing with these knights so much easier. In the room they will guard in on more shield goblins and a void wizard in the back. Kill the goblins from the doorway and hit the wizard with void together. In the next room, get the overload first and blinding nades to clear the sniper and ads to the right. When you jump up, there's an overload at the top of the steps and another one to his left. Use cover, with a reheat and attack together. After them, it's boss room time. Use a blinding nade to deal with the solar knight and adds easy. And then make sure you all wait for your super if you have to. Pop the black one ready and when the boss shows up, drop that well. You can put a titan bubble right on the boss and use those swords for the win. And that's it y'all. I really hope this helps. Feel free to drop opinions with your own strats in the comments below. If you want more guys like this, please hit the like and sub buttons. And any channel support helps a lot. I'm out.